difference. The only difference that we have between IPSAs and IAS, between IPSAs and IAS is this, and you should be able to write this down, that unlike IAS 24, IAS 24, unlike IAS 24, IPSAS 20, IPSAS 20, IPSAS 20 does not require, IPSAS 20 does not require disclosure of information, does not require disclosure of information, disclosure of information about business transactions, about business transactions, about business transactions between related parties about business transactions between related parties which occur at arm's length, which occur at arm's length, which occur at arm's length. What we call normal trade. What we call normal trade. Normal trade. Listen, listen. Ladies and gentlemen, assuming in government, we have uh, this kind of uh, related parties. We have a company A, like now treasury. We have, for example, treasury. We have, for example, treasury here, treasury. And then we have Kenyatta National Hospital. Of course, we know that the two, they are what here, they are related because this must be getting money for this. So assuming in the year, treasury takes their employees for treatment to Kenyatta National Hospital. And the treasury is able to pay fees, is able to pay, in this case here, whatever it has been invoiced by Kenyatta National Hospital, normally as if these guys that came over here are not our relatives. If, for example, we charge everybody 100 shillings in terms of uh, whatever kind of service you're offering at KNH and treasury people also paid 100 shillings, then we shall not disclose because that is business between related parties but at what year? At arm's length. No more trade. The prices liquid, they say the same. Then you don't disclose. In the commercial sector, even if, for example, we are selling this thing at 10 shillings, and then a director comes and buys it at 10 shillings, 10 shillings, same price. In the commercial sector, you must do what you must disclose. In the government sector, you don't have to disclose. 